proper way to put one on? Transvestites are like male lesbians. My anus and I aren't on speaking terms. Hey! Welcome, Talk Soup fans. I'm Chris Lawrence standing in for John Henson today. He's on special assignment. I've got reports of major laugh turbulence ahead, so strap yourself in for some world-class comedy. I'll be in the back of the airplane strapping on my parachute. Before the show, I have some news. We are now sponsored by PBS, the public broadcasting system, so in our contracts, we have agreed to show more educational programs. So today we have prepared a show dealing in the subject of geometry and art. For our first clip, I take you live to Taunton, Massachusetts at Coyle and Cassidy Memorial High School in Mrs. Provost's geometry class. Here's special field reporter Chris Lawrence. Chris, they're all yours. Soup. Um, up ahead, come ahead, we have some things on perspective, the whatchamacallit, inversion, and triangles. But first, a word from our sponsor. Maybe how man can't ever touch what is all real. You know, it's just like carving is not the answer. That's what I think this is saying. Thank you, William. <laughs> Welcome to Earth, space boy! Is on perspective. Angular perspective, three-point perspective. Oh, I love chicken. Oh, with buffalo sauce. Oh, 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 oh. We're back. Um, next, we have a clip on perspective. That is, three-point perspective, two-point perspective, and angular perspective. Here we go. Well, oh, uh, hey, welcome back to Talk Soup. We next have a clips on inversion. This should be very interesting. Yes. Today, uh, now I'd like to talk about inversions. On this tie, it's a big pattern. When they cut out the tie, it's like all a huge sheet of fabric. And each tie, even though they may look unique, they're really not. It's just a chance of where the slicer goes down and cuts on the paper. Now, what is an inversion? Let's see what Mr. Dictionary has to say. To invert is to turn upside down, to reverse some position, or to turn inward. Basically, what it means is flipping a picture and flipping it horizontally then flipping it vertically. You can invert anything, whether it's a picture, a bunch of letters, or anything, shapes. So I'm going to show you just simply what inversion is. You take, we have a simple triangle. Now we're going to take this triangle and we're going to flip it horizontally, just like if we were turning the page like this. And then we have, excuse my wonderful art technique. Uh, this is really embarrassing. Should I shoot this whole scene over or should I not? Let you think about it. I decided not to give you some something to joke about in class. We're inverting the picture. We have the four shapes. We have a triangle. We're going to flip it horizontally like that. And then we're also going to flip it vertically. So the triangle will then become like this. And also, we'll once again flip that one horizontally. Now, this doesn't look like much. Triangle maybe was a bad example. But, like, I use this bitmap 
because it comes out neater and used just three simple letters, Christopher John Law, CJL, and I used a special font, and look at what the pattern came out. I used these arrows, you know, just, now it's a simple, interesting arrow chatter, pattern, and also the same things, I believe I used the, the letters R, T, and M here because they just happen to look interesting in the bitmap. Um, so let's take a closer look at these and go on to the next subject. And just three simple letters, CJL, inverted arrows, RT, and W. And once again, it's the symbol for the Smashing Pumpkins, believe it or not. I'm sure you will. And I'm just going to show the steps of how I inverted it. Original picture, and then I flipped it horizontally to get this picture with those two pitches, I then just copied the whole thing We flipped it vertically. And from there, we get the inverted masterpiece. Hey, Soup Freaks, that's all the time we have for today. I have my parachute strapped on, and I'm ready to jump ship. I suggest you do likewise. Oh, my Hands off me. Don't touch me. Don't you. Don't you. Don't you ever touch me.